those who become are those who never settle. They know that there is always a better and greater version. Oh, I'm good. I'm a nice person. I'm a wonderful believer. I love God. I have a... All that is nonsense. It will never bring you the anointing. It is no replacement for death. There are many good people whose self is still alive in them. Self is not something that leaves a man automatically. God must kill it. Prayer, before fasting, before any and all of these things, God looks at you and yourself, your ambition, your desire to be great, your desire to be a celebrity. Look up, please. Even your desire to be anointed must be crucified for you to be anointed. Until it no longer becomes a desire, that's when you are qualified to have it. Please help them. Your desire to be a pastor, your desire to be a geo, your desire to be a mama, prophet, prophetess, apostle, and all of these things god just stands by in his love and his mercy sorry but he continues to watch you his self that has driven many people to lock themselves for one week i went somewhere and i preached and the power of god did not move lord i can't take this embarrassment again and god is watching he's watching self pray he's watching your body get lean but self is sitting on the throne and God says, no, I don't do that kind of business with you. While you sit down and hear them talk about a man of God and the great things that are happening, you sit and you are inspired. Very nice. Moved by it. And you say, in the name of Jesus, I, I must have that testimony too. There is a relationship between death and glory there is a relationship between death i'm telling you this the greatest resistance to true spiritual power is self i desire my own agenda so i use god as a vehicle to achieve my own agenda i want fame i want the praises of men i want money i want accolades and i searched around and found out that the most effective mechanism to achieving that is god so i become famous through god i become this through god and god says no that's not the way it works there are many 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 christian activities today that are just expressions of self listen to what i'm telling you self they look spiritual they sound spiritual they carry a regalia of spirituality but let me tell you god is not in it god and self cannot coexist one must dethrone itself for the other it's like the axe standing with dagon 90 percent of the motivation behind many things people do that includes us preachers is self self we want self to be glorified even when we're saying oh god take all the glory he knows it's a lie hidden somewhere in our heart the desire to outshine the desire to beat down others like a competition and while he's watching our hearts we continue to flatter and convince ourselves that we can maneuver our way into his power and hands there and continues to watch us let the fire from your altar touch my body let the fire from your altar touch my body let the fire from your altar touch my body. listen when god wants to build you when you get saved and he introduces you to the holy spirit i've told you this the first assignment is not to give you rema the first assignment is not to start giving you visions and prophecies the first assignment is death how does a plant grow you carry a seed 
a seed that is good and then you take it to the soil and don't even pity the seed while you drop the seed and it's there in moisture you cover it and you are happy you you stop that seed from seeing light and you leave it there alone think of the loneliness that happens to that seed think of the absence of light the suffocation and yet you keep coming every day and you are watching and out of that the seed is helpless on the ground but in that helplessness that's when the strength starts to rise after a few days something starts happening the seed does not even know it carries that power the moment the seed dies it finds out that it just came alive again and finds out that death is not a thing it's a door it leads somewhere you can follow a door called death and come out into a realm where you will see jars different jars standing near different doors for every door of death there is an oil that is waiting for you and so with those oils are a list of the possibilities listen to me that when you stand in the realm of the spirit you will be shown doors and then you will see jars on every door alongside what can happen lord i want to raise people from the wheelchair he says come this is the oil that is responsible for that outcome but this is the door that leads to the oil and he said ah oh god i'm not ready i'm i can't if it's this door because sometimes the doors are small they are not like doors that you jump they are doors that you have to stretch some doors will enjoy you to pass but when you do pass you will carry something a generation cannot deny let me tell you my brothers and my sisters truly speaking i tell you the truth the way to power is death the way to genuine power the oil of god upon a man is not the oil in a bottle you can carry the oil in a bottle pour it on your head go and meet every man of god in the world to put his hand inside no the angel of the lord will lead you through doors lord i want to be the voice of a generation i want to be the face of god represented to a generation he says come this is the oil for this generation you said you want it yes sir you said you see that thing that looks like a hole is actually a door if you can pass through it when did you learn that you received the anointing cheaply ask elisha Elisha continues to follow Elijah. Look at the constraints. Look at the rigor. From Bethel, Gilgal, everywhere down to Jordan. And that man was looking for something. We teach many things about the anointing. But we leave the most important part. Elf is not something that leaves a man automatically. God must kill it. Hmm. Self is the circumcision required for power. The same way you circumcise a male child when you give birth to him. The spiritual circumcision for power is death. My son, give me your money. Give me your reputation. Give me your sleep give me your time give me your ego give me the praises of men give me your intellect give me your future give me your um, ah, god is too much but you said you wanted to be used by me i'm still listening i'm not done give me your wife give me your husband give me your first to last born lord i will give you two and take two no sir give me all of them if it is not all then forget about god a herbalist can say bring two now after 10 years we'll negotiate god says all that's the price for now right there give me the songs give me the sermons give me the clothes give me the accolades give me the honorariums give me everything and he said, Lord, what am I left with again? And he says, me. 
that's all you have left if you have god and any other thing you are not yet dead it must be him alone so he keeps saying give me you think he's collecting it he's throwing it away so that he becomes the one and only ah. i show you the way to the anointing later on he will see one or two things close to you again and say ah, 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 i'm no longer alone now i've seen a new car you bought give me the car and he said lord if i give me does not mean sow it uh -uh. give me means bring it under my influence give me the nmpc job oh lord you know i'm a big boy now when i was poor i had time now i'm busy and god says that's it man of god when you had two members there was not much now you have a crowd give me your members he said lord i will give you the poor ones and keep the rich ones he said no sir give me everybody okay i will give you the rich and take the poor no sir when god wanted to demand people to come out of egypt pharaoh was negotiating let some go and some stay god said mm -mm, everybody look let me tell you this my brothers and my sisters let me teach you something about god god is a merciful god god is a wonderful god but when it comes to the making of men god is such permit me to use the word an unemotional god when it has to do with the making you will be surprised to know dimensions of god that will scare you that he calls himself the potter while you are the clay and he's smashing the clay on the ground and he's the one who is full of compassion yet that clay is on the ground at the end you will know it was still messy while he smashed you mercy is not always about forgiveness it is also insistence that you become even when you are not ready for it please learn this god is giving value to our fasting and prayer do you know i tell you sincerely and i don't mean to brag I, I continue to watch believers and preachers I, I don't criticize the body but i watch with shock and wonder the dishonor that people have for dead vessels i tell you all men are not the same some men are men plus self others are men plus god so you carry your ambition like a cross you carry everything on your head up you are going to golgotha pastor alpha where are you going like this you are such a great man you are a preacher already the whole world is hearing you and he shows you he says that's the place that blood must touch the altar for real fire to come there was never sacrifice of fire without the body on the altar dead though not alive you will kill it and keep it there and then fire will come from heaven please let's be careful the way we are learning things about the anointing sincerely and respectfully so many people have been learning nonsense it's a non-negotiable condition if it is god that you want to see the way we are obsessed with control is my car my house you know you are alive to the degree to which you own things in the kingdom owners are rebels you don't own things in the kingdom the earth is the lord's and its fullness thereof the prodigal son had access but he wanted ownership from the day he owned things he started going down till he returned back to access no man is given ownership in this kingdom you are only given access god gives you a church the day you own it you pay the bills you take care of the members you manage the troubles that come from it I will build my church the day you build your own you will see the lopsidedness in the building many of you look at me please you gave God your voice to sing but you did not give him your pocket and you are surprised that your sons your sons want to bless people but the God of your pocket will block it others gave God your pocket but you did not give him some other things
there are preachers that gave god their brain but didn't give god their pulpit no god you can have my bible studies but this pulpit belongs to me and so it's only in the bible study people are blessed on sunday the people come and it's as if they are in a shrine everybody is looking for the latest everything latest way of preaching latest way of singing you want the anointing look at the door the door that leads to it i want to be able to pray for everybody afflicted and watch doors open and god says come let me show you there is the jar there is the door these are the possibilities all by one and the same spirit only left to your level of sacrifice my son give me your heart i'm sharing with you my experience with god let me tell you this until god shakes bring that cup for me no the cup You see how empty this cup is? This is how your life must become to carry real, genuine power. You give God half of what is there and leave half. He says, no. How will you know that is the anointing then? They will all look the same. He will empty everything. Your reputation in that cup. Your knowledge. They will not be wasted. He's only reprioritizing it. So that when you stand, there is only one person that you see when men clap for you apostle joshua selman you thank god for the clap but you are already dead it does not sustain an ability to affect and influence you see let me tell you this you see ba money fame honor until you have these things you don't know what they can do to men Oh God, bless me with money. I will serve you. Let me see the devil that will destroy me. Please keep quiet. You've not known what convenience at a level means. Where whether you pray or not, you feel secured. Who will oppress you? Hmm. There is a level to which you are anointed that it will almost look like you don't need God. Because even if you never preach again, what you have done before will continue to echo around. 